In 1989, I uh, visited my college roommate in California, in Monterey, and uh, lo and behold, there was an earthquake. <laughs> and I had, uh, so during that week or so that I was there, I painted uh, a picture that Kristen DiVincenzo has in her dentist office on loan called um, Point Lobos and uh, Jack's Peak from my roommate's house, college roommate. Um, so that's fun, but I have been painting ever since. Fairfield Porter's father, a Chicago architect, bought Great Spruce Head Island in 1912 and built this summer home where his five children lived what the artist Fairfield Porter called a personal golden age. And out on Great Spruce Head Island, Anina Porter Fuller, Fairfield's niece, has inherited her uncle's old easel. Well, I learned how to see in a different way, and I think that's what you learn from painters. Um, you learn how they see the world. wash the painting because uh, it's very sturdy, water doesn't mix with oil, and my particular medium is a third varnish, a third turpentine, and a third linseed oil, um, which, you know, rectified uh, pure, and you mix the three, and for 20 years I've never had any cracking or problems with the oil on canvas linen or wood. So I think my uncle was wise in recommending that. Okay, do you ever use that hammock over there? I do, yes. It's a very nice place to relax and read and but it is. Catch the evening light. Last summer I had a show at the Park Point Club and I had some very large paintings and small ones and these are some of them that I had painted the previous year um, of Sonoma Mountain on Madrone and the Overlook Trail where I love to walk, part of the Ecology Center, and then my house with my beautiful geranium in the window and then here's some Oz Farm up in Mendocino where I used to go 10 years ago to paint. And here's where my uncle lived in um, Santa Fe, New Mexico, Sangre de Cristo Mountains, which I loved painting. I love painting murals, both private homes and public 
storefronts. And this one in the picture is the corner of Stanyon and Parnassus in San Francisco. And I was uh, invited to paint this by the fellow who owned it. And I put some of the patrons in it. And uh, as people came along the street, they wanted to be painted. So, and they would make comments at my progress. The bus would stop there. It was really lots of fun. I so part of my um, painting career was in New York City. And I uh, painted a picture of Fifth Avenue of the home of the town where I lived, Bronxville, a suburb of New York City. And enjoyed a rich painting time. When my children were growing up, um, I always found time to paint, and I was teaching in the local school. Um, and then I started painting, doing etching, studying etching, and my brother had been an etcher, and I did a three-plate color etching here from a scene in Maine of our mailboat arriving with my daughter and son, her son, and also um, a four-plate color etching of, from a trip I took to southern France, a place that's like Venice, called Set. Then when I travel, I love using watercolors, and I um, painted this, these pictures in Denmark when I was with my mother. Um, and in Switzerland, this is Lake Geneva, so that when you're traveling, you get a really good first impression of a place and, and the liveliness of the feeling of, of what's going on there. Now, one of the things I um, loved doing in my career was uh, going to Nicaragua, where I um, was part of a group who helped um, in the 90s, right after the Nicaraguan War, um, and we went into a community and helped them dig a well, and I painted the children and the, the people in the community, and they would um, uh, love to get my paintings, <laughs> even though they were very sketchy like this. These were two twins, and then um, I painted other pictures. They would take their brothers and sisters around in, in the wheelbarrows uh, instead of uh, carriages because they lived in a very subsistence farming community where they lived with pigs and chickens. After the experience facilitating mural painting on rural schools in Nicaragua, I began visiting a friend in Cynthia on the west coast of Mexico. Here is the view from her deck, from her banyo, her car, the beach, and painted chairs became a theme that I loved doing several paintings. After Mexico, the four summer months that I'm able to spend painting on the family island in Maine are real inspiration. Here are the grandchildren blueberry pickers, the barn my grandfather designed with classical features, his big house and porch and the interior, the peonies and poppies he grew blooming July 4th, Tractor Road, the island trail, and um, the views on the island looking out. Here's the morning light on the breakfast table. I painted them a lot. And the views of the bay with the rocks looking through the trees with the boats and um, harbor. And here's an erratic on the beach on Islesboro. And the hawkweed blooming. And my mother, smelling the thyme at a Four Seasons farm, which we visited um, 
with Barbara Damrosch and Elliot Coleman. And here's on Islesboro where I have painted with friends. And um, this painting was uh, very um, different and it was done after a long period of silence. It was actually painted in 01, before 9-11, interestingly. And um, it's a large painting and I call it Silence. <laughs> 